are so important to me, but you can imagine they would even agree that for us coming back next year, the one who's even a little more important, that's Lauren Bergman, our great uh, uh, finance director here in Washington. <laughs> by young Daniel Hart, who comes from Tennessee, so I, I have no idea uh, why he works in our office, but yes, I do. Uh, because he came to me and said that he was born in the same town that Congressman Robert Wexler was born, Queens, New York. And so I said, okay, we gotta get him in the office. So that's how he got in. So Daniel, thank you as well. Uh, just a few points, and, and, and I think it's obvious I talked to the uh, to the uh, interviewer before, you know, why it is so important uh, that we have uh, the Turkish American Caucus and why it is so important for America to have strong relations with Turkey. Uh, as I said, uh, because of the population back home, it's important to me for that Turkish American experience, but for us as a nation, for America uh, and our ideals and goals around the world, uh, where Turkey sits uh, in the world both in terms of its economy, in terms of its population, and certainly in terms of its location, uh, is incredibly, incredibly important to us. And as America deals with the problems of Iran and Iraq, Afghanistan and Pakistan, as we try to find a way to bring peace to uh, the Middle East that includes and must guarantee safety and security and a, a, a long time existence, uh, eternal existence of Israel, uh, Turkey is going to be a major partner with us we will be a major partner with uh, Turkey as well. And that, to me, I think just kind of sums it up, that there can be no peace around the world if there are not strong relations between our two countries. And yes, there are challenges uh, that we face, the different uh, ethnic groups that we spoke about, and, and there, are, there are tensions around the world. But by us working together and having a strong relationship uh, with uh, Turkey, and then uh, together with uh, our other partners in the world, that we can make sure that we can have a better world for everyone and certainly for all those who come to America uh, to call it uh, their home. That's something that's a great American experience. Uh, because at the end of the day, I think, uh, what all that we want uh, is to have uh, a better life for our children and grandchildren. That is indeed the American dream, one that was shared by my immigrant mother, one that's shared by all of you and, and your children as well. So uh, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your support. I look forward. Uh, to str forging even a stronger bond in our personal relationships and in our professional relationships. And uh, having said that, I'd now like to ask Lincoln and Lydia to come join me up at the microphone. Thank you. Thank you. We want to thank Congressman Wexler for coming. Where are you? <laughs> and um, we want to thank Congressman Wexler for all his contributions to U.S.-Turkish relations. And we have, um, given his um, new role, we have a, a little something that is between a dove and a hawk. <laughs> eagle. 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 Dove and an e uh, eagle. Eagle representing the U.S. and the dove representing his peacemaking peace role. And then we also have a plaque that says, um, in appreciation to Congressman Wexler from the Turkish American community for your tireless efforts on behalf of U.S.-Turkish relations. And then the most important line is, you will be missed. <laughs> yes. from the congressional record that we submitted uh, into the record last night. And with your forbearance, I would just like to read it as we uh, presented it on the floor of Congress yesterday. This is congressional record uh, from the House of Representatives regarding uh, Congressman uh, Robert Wexler uh, from the proceedings and debates of the 111th Congress, first session. Madam Speaker, I rise with a mix of sorrow and optimism as we wish farewell to Congressman Robert Wexler, a true friend, 
fellow New Yorker by birth, if I made that point already. <laughs> we, we're all New Yorkers too, right? <laughs> and leader on the House Foreign Affairs Committee as he moves ahead in the next stage of his successful career. Congressman Wexler leaves behind a great legacy as one of the first legislators to truly harness the great potential of U.S.-Turkey partnerships. This legacy is illustrated time and again through the warm reception Congressman Wexler receives from even the most skeptical audiences in Turkey, Israel, and the Middle East. His example reminds us all of the power of diplomacy and American values. As an outspoken advocate for increased dialogue between the United States and Turkey, he has created an environment of increased stability, security, and friendship for all people, and not only the United States and Turkey, but throughout the Middle East. Turkey is a strong partner with the U.S. in combating terrorism, particularly in Iraq and Afghanistan. Turkey also is on the verge of a successful rapprochement with Armenia. Additionally, Turkey is actively engaged in facilitating multilateral negotiations that often complement U.S. foreign policy on delicate post-conflict matters, greater economic and trade cooperation, and of course, global energy needs. As a co-founding chair of the Turkish Caucus and the chairman of the Europe Subcommittee, Congressman Wexler has played a key role in all of these achievements. Most recently, his work to facilitate greater communication between legislators in the U.S. and Turkey culminated in the last month's announcement that the Turkish Congressional Turkish Caucus hit a record number of 104 caucus members since its inception in 2001. <laughs> Although the departure of Congressman Wexler is saddening and no doubt a huge loss for the, to the Turkish American community and the U.S. House of Representatives and the people whom he represents in Florida, I am encouraged that in his new position as president of the Center for Middle East Peace and Economic Cooperation, he will continue to bestow his vision of greater peace and understanding upon legislators and world leaders alike. I would like to personally thank Congressman Wexler for his great service to this country and look forward to continuing to work with him to develop a long-lasting diplomatic relationship with our allies in Europe and the Middle East. Ladies and gentlemen, Congressman Michael Wexler. Uh, th this is very kind and, and very considerate. I, I was coming here to support Congressman McMahon. Um, it's actually kind of funny to me. I, I did not know. Did you do this last night? <laughs> um, I, I, I did not know, know that. My, um, I, I didn't see it. My son, who's 16, told me last night, he said, some guy's on TV trashing you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what do you mean? Uh, he said, I don't know, I wasn't listening. He said something about you being a terrorist or something like that. Um, but that's how 16-year-olds uh, um, He must have uh, seen you for a quick second. But th this is to, to, to Michael and to Lincoln and to Lydia and to everyone. This is, this is extremely kind uh, and incredibly generous. Uh, for me, in this room are a number of people uh, whose friendship and relationship I will cherish for forever. Um, Lincoln is not exaggerating at all when he talks about roughly 11, 12 years ago when uh, with Lincoln's help and with Lydia's help and with many people in this room's help, uh, we thought of the idea of starting a Turkish caucus. And the, the notion of having members of Congress sign on to anything that was even remotely connected to Turkey was really a, a foreign concept. But uh, we did it, and rather successfully. Uh, and today, you see the fruits of that effort. And while there are certainly differences of opinion in terms of Turkish policy that Turkish Americans rightfully voice very passionately, uh, the, the state of American-Turkish relations are actually, in my humble opinion, uh, quite strong and honest. Uh, and they are so because those relations are, are bigger than the individuals who happen to be in public office at the moment. 